Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to address you today as you continue your important work at the Codex Task Force on MR. There is sufficient data and evidence on the danger of the MR and of the agency to combat its rising at every level. You may recall that at the 71st UN General Assembly in 2016. Former UN Secretary General Pan Ki-moon stated that MRR poses a fundamental long-term threat to the human health, sustainable food production and development. He also called on WHO, FAO and OIE in cooperation with other relevant stakeholders to coordinate their planning and actions to combat AMR. In May 2019, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres reaffirmed that the importance of following Codex guidelines to combat AMR in line with the political degradation of the high-level meetings of the General Assembly on AMR. I added my voice to those supporting the work you have done so far and the results you will strive to achieve this week. Understanding where AMR is and how to target it is the key to reduce the risk it poses. That is why FAO is supporting the country's implementation of risk analysis to identify those risks and to implement mitigation measures. As Director General, I'm uh, committed to building a dynamic FO for a better world and to continue to address the needs of over 2 billion people that do not have a regular access to the safe nutrition and sufficient food, leaving no one behind. The work you do is an integral part of the food system transformation we aim to achieve. Working together through the partnership is at the core of my hand and hand initiatives, designed to transform food systems and assist the countries in accelerate the process and focus on achieving SDG 2, SDG 1, which requires strong political commitment. Codex enjoys solid commitment from member states and this strong partnership of FAO and WHO in Codex has existed for nearly 60 years. I'm aware that you have a challenging task ahead of you, namely developing Codex guidelines by 2020 that will assist member countries in combating MR. We know that no one country, sector, or organization can address these issues alone. And we also know that there is no time to waste. Before I end, allow me to thank the Republic of Korea for its contribution to global action on AMR, especially Minister Lee Eun Kuen, and also for the gracious hospitality in hosting this meeting. It is with such a strong support from member countries that the Cortex and the FAO will succeed in our goals today and in the framework of the 2030 agenda. I offer you my best wishes for a very productive meetings. Thank you.